Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the solution video for bitwise and of the array. This problem revolves around the idea of bit magic and arrays. This has a quite good success percentage that is 69% and this is a medium level problem. Now let us move and understand the problem statement. We are given an array of n integers, okay? And we are also given an integer x. So this is basically the x, this is n, and this is the array itself. Now in one operation, you can change the ith element of the array to any integer value where i is less than or equal to n, okay? Now, calculate the minimum number of such operation required such that the bitwise and of all the numbers is strictly greater than x, okay? So we would first see and visualize the sample test case, then we would discuss the idea. So whenever we see a bit level problem, as I mostly say in my previous videos, we need to visualize that problem in terms of bits. So let us write in terms three in terms of bits. So three would be one and one, then one would be one itself, then two would be one and zero, then three would be, seven would be one one one. Okay, fair enough. This is what it is. And let me fill zeros with all the places that are not fulfilled. Now what we want is we want a value greater than this value. This value is greater. So what we can do is we need a greater value than this. So, so we can mark this value also, this value also, because if we set this value also, that would make it 3. That is greater than 2. Okay. And that can fulfill our desire. So that is what this value and this value. We can fulfill it. Two, two bits are made to set. And we can say that this value is there. Now, one more solution that can exist is this value, this value, and this value. I set this value equal to 0. So, 4, 0, 1, 2, 4 is greater than 2. So, 3 can also be a probable candidate for the answer. But it is not the answer because among all the probable candidates, we want the minimum out of it. Okay? So, minimum ka hi sara problem hai. Okay? I hope you are clear with this. So, now let us understand. Suppose we are given x is equal to 1, 0, 0 and then again 1. Support. Now there are two scenarios to this. Either you fix all this set bits and then you fix one more bit. This is what can be done. Matlab jitne bit usme set hai, utna to kari do. The same number. Plus any other bit. If you set any bit, that would be just greater. Okay? Fair enough? This can be one idea. Okay? So, what are the other probable ways of increasing? The other probable way of increasing is you set the most significant bit that is not set. So, this bit is not set. So, what you can do is you can set this bit and else all the bit can be unset also, set also. We don't care about it. Okay? So, this value is greater than this value. We can see that. So, there are two probable ways to ma maximize, to have a value strictly greater than the value x. So what can be done is, the value which are not set, we are setting that value. This is what is done. So, if we just see and generalize this, how to generalize this and see all the probable condition, when the value is set, okay, we need to set that value. When that value is unset, we can set that value also and we can see how many numbers we need to set and then we can have compare it with the minimum answer we have calculated till now and we need to check how many bits at most 32 bits because the number is small enough fair enough now what we would do is if the bit is set okay if the bit is set we would say that yes this bit is set and we would keep it somewhere now there are two ways to keep it somewhere either we remember it in an array of size 32 okay this is the first probable way or suppose I want to see that the next bit is set. So what I can do is, I can have 0 with an OR of 1 and 0. That would make it 1, 0. So I can save this value. Okay? This is what we would do. Okay? Same thing. We would take use of this OR function. And when the bit is not set, we would try to set that bit. And we would check what is the minimum value. Okay? So let us read and understand. So, we have here, it is to say which values are set, okay? And answer is the largest value that we need to change all the values that are there. 
ओके नाउ वी चेक द लास्ट बिट सो वाइड आर वी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट एंड फ्रॉम डू लीज सिग्निफिकेंट बिट बिकॉज आई एम सेइंग सपोज इट इज जीरो जीरो एंड वन सो इफ वी आर एबल टू सेट दिस बिट ओनली देन इट कैन बी आंसर इफ वी आर सेट दिस बिट ओनली देन इट कैन बी एन आंसर ओके एंड देन सपोज दिस बिट आई एम आई एम अलाउड टू सेट दिस बिट देन इफ आई एम सेटिंग दिस बिट देन आई नीड टू सेट वन मोर बिट दिस इज वट कैन बी डन सो what i am doing is i am taking out the bit if it is set if it is set i need to save it somewhere so this is just like saving the value by using a or function okay if the bit is not set then the bits which are already set we want those values so we are having those values and the current bit needs to be set so i am having that also saved to a temporary variable now i am counting now what i am counting i am counting the digits which need not to be modified okay so i am doing an and operation and i can say that these digits need not to be modified suppose there are five digits and i know that two digits need not to be modified if they don't want modification if they don't need modification basically so i would subtract that value and three values would need modification that is what we are doing we are having them in the minimum value and then we are returning them as the answer so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day if you face any difficulty feel free to ask me